Here, on this equestrian estate, surrounded by 500 rose bushes and paddocks for Magic and Giant, her two beloved horses, Crystal Kay has made her fantasy real. Together with husband Eddie Kay and their baby Luke, she has what she'd consider the perfect life. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? Very Great good to see you. you. Very good to see you. I feel like I've arrived in Kentucky. Horses and an American colonial style home. Yes, it's actually a, a blend of American colonial and French Provencal. And it inspired me greatly when I first saw it. I just knew that I had to have this house. This is just 30 minutes from Santon. And you just feel like you're out in the most beautiful country. And of course it's ideal for raising children and it's the outdoor life. That's how I was raised and I wanted that for, for my little boy. Yes, he loves running around and crawling around. He's <laughs> almost walking. And we look forward to bringing out in this beautiful, clean environment. Within the American colonial framework, the French neoclassical scene with chandeliers and mirrors was inspired by the Versailles period. <laughs> this house is absolutely amazing. I can't believe it looked nothing like this when you moved in three years ago. Yes, well, I wanted to match the exterior and the interior together because I love the exterior of this house. I actually bought this house in five minutes, believe it or not. I saw it in a picture and I knew that it was going to be mine. And when I walked into the house, I was a little disappointed with the interior. So I decided that I'd do some serious facelifting on the house and I'm happy with the end result. Duck blue cherubs set the color tone, but the entrance is only the hors d'oeuvre. The lady of the house has a favorite and that's the piano room with a crystal champagne chandelier and her cherished baby grand. Now, talking about this baby grand piano, I know it has a really special place in your heart because you're pursuing your music career. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's a dream come true to have a beautiful white baby grand here. And it was actually used in my music video. It's also a piano that was used by the BBC wow. in their shows. It's a beautifully conditioned art deco piece and I'm very happy to have it. You were a lawyer and an advocate. What made you decide or inspired you to get into music? From the age of seven years old, I was listening to Dolly Parton and Olivia Newton-John and dreaming that I was going to be a big superstar one day. And then, of course, reality hits and you have to have a job and make money. So I became a lawyer and I did enjoy that career very much as well because I do have a strong calling to justice in my life. However, the music was my first love. It's never left me. And I've actually gone right back to it now. And so far, I'm coming back with some impact. The single, Set Apart, has been produced by Brian O'Shea of Elvis Blue and Jesse Clegg fame. Crystal is in talented company. You are definitely a woman after my own heart. Chandeliers in every space. I love that. Well, it took quite some doing, I must say, but it's worked out to be really an amazing wonder of this house. Because of the open spaces that we have, you actually see all of the chandeliers at once. And I think because we do have the space, it doesn't look too overwhelming, but it just lights up your life every day. A theme which Crystal only noticed once she'd bought her art is that even though it's from several different periods, it's all about women. Then there is this fragrant product of those hundreds of rose bushes outside. That's a really beautiful table. Do you host a lot of dinners? Yes, well, we use this every day for our family dinners. We believe in big is better <laughs> and the Dallas style, of course. And we love to just enjoy the space and have some quiet time together as a family. Crystal, you spend a good part of your life traveling and I can see how you brought those influences into your home. Yes, I've been to some really, really special places. And of course, whenever I go, I always bring something back for the house, like most women do. Absolutely. <laughs> and as you can see here, I've got this beautiful piece that I got um, when I was in Venice. And it certainly goes with the theme of my state. Follow the soft duck blue wool and silk runner up the stairs, and you'll soon be drawn into a collection of shoes gathered from across the globe. OK, Lorna, hold your horses. I hope that this is going to make you green with envy. I need a moment of silence, please, for just a second, because this is so amazingly gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you have to show me your favorite pair, please. Okay, that's not a problem at all. Firstly, over here, I absolutely love these. Okay. They are Jimmy Choo's. 
and I bought them on my travels to Beverly Hills. So you're a girl who enjoys her sparkle. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Rodeo Drive, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and which ones would you wear to perform? Well, if I'm really daring, it would be these shoes over here. As you can see, they're really sparkling and they go with the whole crystal brand. Yes. And which ones are your most comfortable? My most comfortable, if I had to be honest, would be these ones over here. The lowest ones? I don't want to show those. <laughs> so these are my other favorites. They're Valentinos. Okay. And these shoes really are very special. And you know why? Why? Not only that I got them in Italy yes. on the Via Condotti, <gasps> but I've never worn them. Really? I bought them about a year ago, and I'm saving them for that special occasion. Okay. And you know what that is? Which is? For my record to hit number one. You heard it first on top yes. of <laughs> To her treasured 500 pairs of shoes, she's now rapidly adding pop singles. Set Apart is the first of three dance pop tracks she's recording. The main bedroom is in neutral tones of creams, white and sand beiges, providing a light, fresh and open feel. Oh, this is the boudoir. You've kept everything quite simple in here. The baby cart is exactly like your main bed. It's so cute. Yes, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> I had to have a special French bed made for our beautiful son. And I just love having him next to me every evening, you know, and it just brings home a special place in my heart. Aww. In his nursery, little Prince of Hearts Luke has his own chandelier, stylish draping and Persian carpet. But Teddy's still his best friend. Okay, Lorna, I'm going to show you something really special now. Yes. <laughs> and this is Ruby. Whoa. He is my special pal. He sits here with me every day in my office. Aww. Yes. <laughs> and he's normally very talkative. I think he's just a bit camera shy today. Oh, sure. <laughs> Does he ever shake his tail feathers? <laughs> oh yes, he does. He shakes a lot of feathers and he also rules this house. He's talkative. He actually says, Crystal, I love you every day. <laughs> Do you think we'll get that today? <laughs> like I say, I think he's very camera shy, so <laughs> we'll have to excuse him. Yeah. So you spend a lot of work time in here. Absolutely. This is where it all happens. <laughs> I've chosen the best spot in the house for my office. It's got the greatest views of the country, the horses, and my rose gardens. All I have to do is spin my chair around, and I'm in paradise for a five minute break. <laughs> and one thing I did notice is, keep calm and get some swag. <laughs> Always swag, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Whilst her double degrees in law and social science will always be there to fall back on, her dream is to record with a major music producer in Los Angeles. Her husband, Eddie, is her rock and sure to support her reaching for the stars. Crystal, you're a new pop star, a new mom. You've been married for a while. How do you balance all of this? Well, I must say that it is rather difficult, but um, all of the things that, that you see here are things that I absolutely love. And I think with that just comes amazing patience and the ability to work really hard, lots of late nights, and yeah, lots of lists. What encouraging words do you have for somebody who's watching this and they say to themselves, oh, I'm on Crystal's life, I just want everything she has? Well, I can tell you that it's doable. If I can do it, you can do it. I think that it's, um, it's wonderful to go after your dreams. I believe in never letting go, no matter what people tell you. Um, always believing in yourself, just knowing that there's a really amazing force out there in the universe that guides you, and just to keep on your path and, and never stray from that. Yes, to your album reaching number one and many more successes. Cheers. Yay. Cheers. Thank you, Lorna. Cheers, Ricky. Cheers. Cheers, Ricky. Cheers. Cheers, Ricky. <laughs>